How to create an interactive hotspot and pop-up slide in Captivate 2019. Creating engaging e-learning courses can be a struggle. By the end of this video, you'll be able to build this hotspot and pop-up interaction and make your course more captivating, pun intended. This is a standard interaction that allows you to include way more information than you could with a simple text and image page. Each clickable hotspot opens a pop-up with additional text and a check mark appears on it once it is viewed. The functionality explained in this video can be applied to any of your hotspot and pop-up pages. You can download the source file of an example like this for free by clicking the link in the description box below. Let's begin. We have already added the base image and the main text into this slide. In this example, the pop-up content will be a group consisting of a shape with text and a close button. Insert a rectangle shape. Rename it to Hotspot Content 1. Change the fill and the stroke. Change the size to 510 times 600 pixels and the coordinates to 0. Input the pop up text. Adjust the font, font size, text alignment, spacing, and the margins. In this example, let's set the margins to 30 pixels from the sides, 50 pixels from the top, and 10 pixels from the bottom. The next step is adding in the close button. Insert a button, rename it to button close one, and then in the style tab from the drop down, choose the image button type. Browse to choose the fill of the image button. Place it in the top right corner of the text pop up. Now group the shape and the close button. Rename the group to Hotspot Pop-Up 1. Click on the Image button and go to the Actions tab. From the drop-down, select the Hide action. For the target, set the group Hotspot Pop-Up 1. Disable Continue Playing the project. Make sure the hand cursor is enabled and click sound is disabled. Now duplicate this group to create other pop-ups. For this example, we'll create four copies of this group, changing the title in the pop-up as well as the names of the groups and objects. When that's done, let's move on to the hotspots. In the downloadable example, the hotspots are built using a PNG icons with a transparent shape on top. This makes it compatible even with Captivate 9. However, for this example, we'll build it just by using the PNG icons, as Captivate 2019 allows you to use icons as buttons. First, let's add in the PNG of the normal state. Rename it to Large Hotspot 1. Enable Use as Button. Then go to the state view, click on the rollover state, and in the properties tab, click on the image source. Import the hover state icon. Usually the down state is the same as the hover, so replace it using the same icon. Then click on new state and add a visited state. Replace it with the visited state icon, which in this case has a check mark. When the states have been set, Click Exit State. Before duplicating the hotspot, let's create the Advanced and Shared action for the hotspots. Go to Advanced Actions, name the new action Hotspot. When clicking on a hotspot, three main things will happen. A pop-up will be shown, all other pop-ups will be hidden, and the hotspot state will be set to Visited. First, let's set the Show Hotspot Pop-up 1 action. Then, the Hide actions for the four remaining pop-ups. Finally, let's add the action for changing the hotspot state to Visited. Click Update or Save Action and then click on Save as Shared Action 
add in parameter descriptions and then click Save. Now click on the hotspot. In the Actions tab, select Execute Shared Action from the drop-down. Click on the Parameter button and set the correct parameter values. Then click Save. Click to enable hand cursor and disable Click Sound. Now make four copies of this hotspot. Number each hotspot to identify them. Then click on each hotspot and change the action parameters so that it would show the correct hotspot and hide the other hotspots. Finally, we have to create the page setup action that will hide all the pop ups when entering the page and set all hotspot states to normal. This is optional, but it will ensure that the page is reset when entering it multiple times. Set the actions to hide 5 hotspot pop-up groups. Then set states of the 5 hotspots to normal. Click Update or Save Action, then Click Save as Shared Action. Type in parameter descriptions. And then, to speed up the process, we're just copying and pasting the descriptions in the parameter fields. When you're done, Click Save. Then go to the Page Properties. In the Actions tab, select Execute Shared Action from the drop-down. Select Hotspot Setup Action. Click on the Parameters button and set the correct parameter values. And then click Save. And now we're ready to preview. Let's preview the page in a browser. All hotspots show the correct pop-ups and the functionality works as it should. And that's how you create a hotspot and pop-up page in Captivate. Don't forget to download and check out the free example in the description box. Thanks for watching.